Oh my God. You can't make this shit up. Karenus Maximus. No one wants to see what you say, Karenus Maximus. Here's the thing. I like it when Tyrone talks bad to me. Ooh. Oh my God. I like it when they talk rough to me. Ooh, give me a little hot sauce. Oh, oh my God. I like it when you tell me I'm not wanted. Hey guys, it's your girl Melanie and we are back at it again with another reaction and this time to Kevin Samuels. Surpri surprise, surprise guys, I have not reacted to any Kevin Samuels videos except for one and that was his Brittany Renner uh, interview and that was like my first video. So in month, it's, it's been months since I've reacted to him but I've had a lot of guys ask me to react to his stuff um, so I can kind of give reactions in real time, give my opinion as a woman who understands, um, a man's perspective and just, you know, call it as I see it. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Now in this episode, he is talking to a Karen, um, like he just put this up. I have not seen it at all. I'm going to give you my raw reaction and, and you know, let's see how it goes. I'm, I'm kind of nervous y'all. It's been a while. How old are you? I'm 25 now. 25 now. Are you single or are you married? I'm currently single. All right. Um, I, what do you have to contribute to the conversation? Um, are you a feminist? I was going to point out the fallacy in your judgment. Are you a feminist? I'm not. Okay. Yeah. Um, you're the chick that came in like Elton John. I'm going to tell you one thing. I, I really not. Okay, guys, I remember this chick when she first called on Kevin's show. She is um, a feminist. She is. She has an agenda. She's not calling in out of good faith. And this is the thing a lot of women don't understand. I have, a lot of you guys don't know. I've been on YouTube for over six years. I've come across a lot of personalities. And now with what I do, I, I don't get a lot of uh, female Karens. I get a lot of male Karens who feel entitled to what I should wear, what I should say, how I should react to things. And they have an agenda. And I'm going to tell you what, you, right away, you can even feel a person's energy. And as much as Kevin has done this, as long as he's done it, all the, I mean, is it hundreds? It's hundreds by now, maybe thousands. I don't know if it's thousands, but I was... It's hundreds of women that he's talked to. Like, he knows what, what's up. And honestly, he does remember her. I mean, look at her. If there was ever a woman who had a agenda, feminist Karen agenda, it's her. Like, why is she calling a, a black man twice her age looking like, did, did she look like she's calling in because she really wants to big up the godfather? I don't think so. She, she... Mm. She about to school him, y'all, because I'm going to tell you something about yourself. You shouldn't talk to women like that because it's not fair because of the patriarchy in it. Shut up, Karen. I'm not into contrarians, so I don't even know why you're here. And this is not really the place to come in and just tell me what you think, because honestly, ma'am, I really don't care. I'm not trying to be rude, but I really don't care. You don't agree with my messages. You don't agree with what I say. And if you want to sit back and play gotcha, what you'll do is you'll go pay me for it. Okay, so how... No, 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 no. Are we clear? So there's a couple things we... I want to I don't... say. No, 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 no. I I've told you what it is. Are we clear? I'm not playing uh, um, with actually, you. Actually, last time all you did was swear not, at me. Are we clear? I'm not playing with you. Albino Holy hyena. Shit, look at that rabid hyena just ripping this guy's nuts off. You are nothing but a dirty, stinking, low down hyena. Oh my gosh. Okay. So clearly, right off the bat, she has some type of agenda. She did last time as well. And then she had the nerve to say that he didn't let her speak last time, he just cut her off and all this other stuff. Why do people feel like they are entitled to come on somebody else's show, somebody else's anything, and do what they want to do? It's like somebody feeling entitled to come into your business and tell you off just because they feel like it. They feel as entitled to it. 
no one does this in a, a classroom. No one does this if, you're, if your boss is done doing a presentation on other talk shows that we see. You have to follow a certain thing. And if the person who runs the show, who owns the show, don't want to hear from you, leave, sus. Why does she think she is allowed? She, he, she has a right that he has to let her talk. He don't want to hear from you, so leave. But my feeling is she's going to stay there and she's going to prove some point to the godfather, even though she's half his age. Just... <laughs> Holy shit, look at that rabid hyena just ripping this guy's nuts off. Hadouken! Be gone, fuck! She belongs to the streets. Stop talking! Not the bad guy! The bad guy! Oh, 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 oh. Anybody's gonna oh, take no. that bitch down, guy. it's gonna be me. The bad guy! Oh, oh. is a certified hood classic. Run away! Run away! Run away! Like, honestly, how long is she going to sit there? She will take any of the things he's playing just because she wants to prove that she's right. Let's scroll forward and see how long she sits there. Look, she's still sitting there. Okay, it looks like Kevin's talking again, so let's get to that point because just looking at her sit there with that resting... Karen face is not fun. Don't come back. Don't come back. I love Karen. Karen thinks she Karen thinks she runs shit. I need to speak to you. I, I there's something I need to speak with you about. You mentioned at the one hour and 32 minute and six second mark that a fallacy starts with an F. It, phonetically, it begins with a PH sound. And it's really not a fallacy to think. Uh huh. We're sitting there like, why are you here? I'm going to tell you why she's there. She has a need to be right. And a lot of times these type of Karens, you know, you is they're insidious. It's really, a, I think it's a mental disorder. It hasn't been diagnosed as that, but in my opinion, I think in the next coming years, we're going to see people really studying this and studying the, the disorder of a Karen. It's usually someone very entitled. They think someone owes them something. They feel as though they have a right to be anywhere they want, do what they want, say what they want. But if you do anything or if you uh, say anything, oh, oh, it's World War III, they're going to have a temper tantrum and go off and they need a safe space. But she's going to come on here to a black man's program, okay? Now, listen, I ain't got no problem. If you're white, Hispanic, any other race, listen, you rocking over here, we ain't got no problems. But what you're not going to do, what you're not going to do, little girl, is bring your... Lily White Karen behind over to a black man's uh, show and tell him what he should be doing, especially when he is twice your age. Like, I don't know. She has a need to be right. right. And she thinks because she's not falling all or screaming or doing whatever or being combative, she doesn't understand. This is a form of combativeness. You are not welcome. He told you to leave. Now leave the store. But let's see if she's going to actually leave. I, I, I doubt it. Or if she tries to come back later on. I don't know. Don't, don't you have some, don't you have some, hold on, hold on. Why are you here? Don't you have some baked chicken to go fuck up or something? I mean, don't you have some baked chicken to go mess up? I mean, what, 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 you have questions? Ask your daddy. I don't have any, I told you you want to ask me questions? You pay me. I don't let Karen's question me. We've been free since 1865. You don't get to come question me. Now you make me go there. Y'all, did he actually go there? Did he actually say, we've been free since 1885, sus. Go get, go get, the, go get that undercooked chicken and get up out of folks' 
folks' business, bro, did, she, did he really? But you know what? Even that, she still is going to probably feel entitled. He, she is, she feels as though any place she wants to be, she's allowed to be there. That's this lady, that's her right there. Can you imagine being in her life? How, I mean, ooh, who actually is with these Karens? Who actually lives with these Karens? Do they just come from other Karens? So the whole household is like this? I mean, think how weak her father must be when she, I mean, the mother, she, or maybe she's terrorizing both of the parents. I don't know, but Kevin's setting her straight today and probably talking to her like nobody else ever has, especially if she's in her safe space on campus. Ha ha ha! They think they run shit! I have questions. Karen! Oh my God, look at her. Let's do this. Karen Maximus. <laughs> Karen is Maximus. <laughs> oh my God. You can't make this shit up. You cannot make this shit up. Oh my God. You can't make this shit up. Karenus Maximus, no one wants to see what you say, Karenus Maximus. Here's the thing. I like it when Tyrone talks bad to me. Ooh. Oh my God, I like it when they talk rough to me. Ooh, give me a little hot sauce. Oh, oh my God. I like it when you tell me I'm not wanted. Oh my gosh. Guys, I never... <laughs> Why is Kevin going there, y'all? Why is Kevin going there? But I never thought about it. I, they get off on this. Like, I mean, obviously we know they do. That's why they do it. But I never thought about, like, this probably, maybe she likes, there's some type of power where she likes coming into, especially where black people are and a black man, and it gets them juices all, gets that chicken cooked finally. Woo, Lord. Oh, my goodness. Okay, okay. Kevin teaching me something new today. Ooh. 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 Oh, it makes me feel special in my tingly places. Oh my God. I've asked you to leave, ma'am. I've asked you to leave. And you're gonna stay around, so I'm gonna make I'm gonna make some money off of you. I, I'm gonna told you two dollars. I told you this, I told you to leave, but you're gonna sit your ass here. Remember Rocket Man? Rocket man, burning out his fuse out here alone. Look at us, Karen is so offended. Oh my God, I, I am going to call the police. I'm going to call the police and the authorities. This is unacceptable. You Negroes are out of control. Ever since we gave you the right to vote, look at what you guys are doing. This is some bullshit. This is- Not the right to vote. Not the right to vote. And she's sitting there. She is going to sit there. I think she wants the attention. She wants to go viral. She wants to prove to all of her friends that she's strong and she stood up to the patriarchy. This woman probably never had a day of struggle in her life. She don't know nothing about no struggle. She's living in a first world country and being one of the most privileged people on earth. And she wants to sit up and probably prove that the patriarchy of a black man the patriarchy is oppressing her and oppressing women worldwide. Bruh, these. This is reprehensible. I have questions. I have questions and I have a paper due tomorrow. And I was going to outline everything that you had wrong with the focus fallacy. And I'm telling you, here's the thing. The funny thing is, Karen's really believe they, they, they look at this shit. She is still there. I've told her to leave. And her Karen ass will not leave. She is entitled. See, I want you guys to understand. The reason Karen is so free to move, I ain't gonna even say I don't get in no trouble over. Karen, why don't you leave? Go on. Go on, girl. Go on. She's like, I'm not leaving. This is my country. We emancipated you. <laughs> You're just a man. You're in this nasty old patriarchy. I don't care how you put it. 
Oh my gosh, guys. Did I say, did I say about the patriarchy? Like, like he said, but he's going there with the emancipation. Everything is going on right now, y'all. I mean, and she is going to sit there. This is the need to be right. I'm telling you, just because you are quiet does not mean you don't have a need to be right. Doesn't mean you're not combative. You being in a place that you are not welcome when you are told to leave, that is being combative. And I guess what is her, her silent protest? She's going to tell him something. She's going to wait there because she wants to prove something yet again. Don't nobody care what you have to say. Once again, go over there with, your, with, with, with people that think like you. We, we different over here. You are just bad. And we need to correct you. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Beta. Karen, thank you. Appreciate it. Now, you don't you got some Pilates or some yoga to do or some shit? Go get you a smoothie, some wheatgrass. Go on now. Go on. Go on. Heal it, heal it, heal it. Bye, Karen. It's Maximus. Karen is Maximus. She refuses to leave. She's like, I'm not going to leave until I'm heard out. I refuse to leave. I, I'm going to be heard. I am woman, hear me roar. Flash, hear my womanly roar. Oh. Yeah. Wait, y'all, I didn't know her name on the thing was Karen Maximus. I thought Kevin, did Kevin make that up? She wrote her name as Karen Maximus. Did, Cause did he call her that last time? So like, so then she actually thinks with her name as being Karen Maximus, like this is the thing she does. Does she go on other people's shows? So she came on there with the name and thinks that he's going to let her on when, with already having that combative name in the t as her name. Oh, y'all. She... Why won't you let me speak? I don't know, because you put your name as Karen Maximus. Like, wow, wow. And she don't see it. And I bet nobody in her life calls her out on it. They're probably congratulating her, or they just go quiet because they're sick. They're sick of her need to be right. Wow. I am woman, hear me roar, and numbers too big to ignore. All right, guys, so I'm going to react to more of Kevin's clips, but I thought this was funny to just see this woman who, through saying basically nothing, showed a side of being combative that, you know, the silent combative type, which, you know, if you go to another room, she's chasing you down or you just live in your life and wants to attack you just because you're a man or because she doesn't agree with you. Okay, if you don't agree with somebody, leave, ma'am. Nobody's forcing you to be here. There's plenty of people and places in the world that want to hear what you have to say clearly. But once again, you can't tell these Karens nothing. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this reaction. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and also check me out on Instagram. The link to everything is below, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.